Hey there, what's going on? This is Seth from the RE Tipster blog. And in this video, I wanted to show you another trick in Google Earth called the Polygon tool. And this is particularly helpful if you want to draw parcel lines over a piece of land anywhere on Earth. And I'll show you a little bit more what I mean here. As you can see right now, I've got pulled up a piece of property that I own that is a pretty big piece of land. It's about 20 acres in size. It's a big triangle. And this right here is the parcel map that I got from the county's website. And I also also zoomed in and got another screenshot. You can see that right here. And I mean, these are helpful images. I mean, it shows us where the property is in relation to the road. So I mean, this is certainly better than nothing. Don't get me wrong. But this doesn't tell us anything about the slope of the land or what the surroundings look like. I mean, all we can see is directly from above looking down. And we can see very clearly that it's a triangle-ish shaped parcel. So something that's really helpful in Google Earth, and I've actually got this property pulled up right here, and it's right here. And you obviously can't see any parcel lines around it because I didn't draw them yet. But uh, if we zoom in a little bit on this property, we can already kind of see that there is some variation in the uh, slope of the land here. And if we kind of pull out a little bit, and then go to the side it's actually sort of like on a mountain right here like this is about where the house would be built right here which would give it a really nice view over the surrounding area and we cannot tell that at all simply by looking at this picture I mean we have no idea that there's even like a hill there we just see a flat piece of land because it's very two-dimensional coming directly from the top but you know obviously in Google Earth we can tilt it any which way and see all kinds of different angles and directions we can even see like what's off in the distance. We can see that there's other mountains that they would be able to see from here. And this is all stuff that we can see in Google Earth, but we cannot see in that parcel map directly above. So what we can do is change this to go right back directly from the top. And Google Earth has this little polygon tool right up here where we can click on this and then we can call it whatever we want. We'll just call this uh, 20 acres or something like that. And all we have to do is start drawing the parcel lines on this land exactly where it shows us those lines are in the parcel map. And this is something where we actually have to be really, really careful because we don't want to misrepresent what this property is. So to the extent possible, we want this to be almost exactly the same as what it shows us on the parcel map from the county. So again, this is our parcel map and we can see that this point of the property, the lower left corner starts right about here at this corner right there. So we can go ahead and put this point right here. I think that's about where it is. And if we look back, it pretty much follows this road up until this little curve in the road. So if we do the exact same thing and keep in mind, this is actually going to draw like a perfectly straight line. So we kind of have to guide it a little ways up here. So we'll go up here like this, maybe do this kind of thing over here like that, and then like this. Okay, so we've got basically the entire left side of the property drawn. So if you go back to the parcel map, now I can see that it comes right down here on an angle. So we have to kind of find something on the land that's going to tell us when we're there. So if we look at the other parcel map, it might help give us some more perspective as well. This is kind of hard to do because there's not any big obvious landmark down here, but we do see, like in this example, I can see this little bare spot of land right there. And it's also coming directly out from the west. So if I bring a line out right about there and then go up just a little bit i'll be pretty darn close to that corner so let's go back here to google earth and it looks like i can't actually see that because i zoomed a little bit too far so let's go ahead and just cancel this out and start over and we'll zoom out a little bit okay so now that i'm out here i can see that bare spot of land right here if we go back and compare it to the other parcel map which is right there so we can kind of start over from square one and start drawing this parcel all over again and we'll go ahead and start it right down here bring it right out of there and go up here like that right there and then come all the way down here let's check the other map one more time to be sure okay so if we go all the way down there and it looks like it's pretty much right in the middle of this spot directly above it so we go right to the middle of the spot and then go directly above it now we're pretty much directly across from the starting point and if we go up just a little bit more i'm thinking that's about where it is and then we go down again and there we go. Let's go back to the parcel map again and just verify one more time that this is pretty darn close. So it looks like it is almost there. Let's see, any clear differences? 
Yeah, I think it's just about there. This line looks curved because we're looking at it at a slight angle right now and we can see the actual curvature of that hill. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe this might be a little off. So I'll go ahead and change that a little bit more. So this may not be like perfectly accurate, but it's pretty darn close. It's a pretty good representation of where that property lies. And now that that's drawn, I can go ahead and go back to this little thing right here and go here to style and color. And at this point, I can change the color of this to be whatever I want it to be. And I can also change the opacity so I can make it like a little bit transparent if I want. So say if I wanted to go ahead and I usually make it about like 50% transparent. And at this point, I'm just doing the actual uh, boundary part down here. This is the body of it. So we can change this as well. As you can see, the transparency is changing and it's at the point where you can definitely see where the boundaries are, but you can see through it as well. And if I wanted to say I could bring this back up to 100%, say if I wanted a really clear boundary line around it, that actually looks a little bit better. Maybe I'll leave it like that. But the really cool thing is when I zoom in now, I can really get a much better perspective for where this property's boundaries lie relative to the hill that it's on. And that right there, it really helps you understand kind of the value behind this property because it's got a great view that a lot of these other properties don't have. And when you're actually sitting on this little spot where a house would go, you can sort of look off in the distance and get a pretty good feel for what's out there. You'd be able to see these mountains really well in the distance. You could see this little ground variation over there. It's something that obviously you wouldn't be able to see any of this stuff if all you were looking at was uh, just directly from above. And Google Earth gives us a really good way to better illustrate where these property boundaries are. And again, this is not the same thing as a survey. And if you're gonna just do this for yourself, that's totally cool. I mean, you can just be aware of the fact that you don't know exactly where the boundaries are. You're just being approximate. But if you're ever going to use this in your marketing materials, just make sure that you're clear that this is not a survey and that you came up with these lines based on the parcel map. And usually what I would do is I would include some screenshots of both the county's GIS map and then also my version so that people can kind of see it's pretty much the same thing. Maybe not exact, but it's pretty darn close. And what I would do is just zoom in. Again, I'm just using my right mouse button and then the shift key on my keyboard and the control or command key on my keyboard just to sort of move around. And I might get a screenshot like this. And then I might get over here and get another screenshot like, I don't know, maybe like this, something like that, just so that you can see these mountains in the background. And maybe you might like zoom in like this just to kind of show what the property looks like up at its highest point. You can sort of look down from above, you can look out and see these mountains over here. Uh, just a really useful uh, feature that you can use to draw out property lines on whatever point on earth you're looking at. This kind of thing I think is particularly helpful if you're working with a property that has mountains around it or even valleys or really any kind of variation because that obviously makes the property a little bit more interesting and just gives you something to look at. If you're in a state like Michigan where I live, it's probably not quite as cool, but it's still pretty darn helpful because you can zoom out and just see, oh, okay, uh, this parcel has a little town up here and it's about this distance from the property itself. And you can zoom out further and take another screenshot out here and you see, oh, okay, here's a major road right there. And you can zoom even further out and just kind of get more perspectives for what is in the nearby vicinity. You kind of get the idea. Anyway, that is the Polygon tool in Google Earth. I make use of it pretty regularly with a lot of the properties that I'm selling because not only is it a really helpful way to help other people understand where the property is and what the topography looks like around the property, but it's also just helpful to keep me informed about any potential issues I'd want to be aware of. Like, is this property on a cliff? Is the incline really, really steep so that nothing could even be built on? On it. There's just lots of different issues where it's really helpful to understand what the elevations of the land look like relative to where those parcel lines actually are. So hopefully that's something you can put to work with the next property you're looking at. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.